بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم المحاضرة الثالثة عشر من سلسلة أعطال محرك الديزل البركنز والمحاضرة بعنوان كيفية قياس ضغط سائل تزيد ميجرنج أو بريشر أساسيات فنية نظام تزيد بيزك انفورميشن فور لوبريكيشن سيستم Modern vehicle engines use a pressure or force feed lubrication system where the oil is forced around the engine under pressure. Let's look at petrol engines first. Oil won't flow up into the engine by itself, so a pump collects it through a pickup tube and a strainer and forces it through an oil filter, then into passageways in the engine block called galleries. The galleries allow oil to be fed to the camshaft bearings, the valve mechanism, and the crankshaft main bearings. Holes drilled in the crankshaft webs allow the main bearings to supply oil to the big end bearings. After circulating through the engine, the oil falls back to the sump to cool. This is called a wet sump lubrication system because the oil is kept in the sump ready for the next time it's used. Diesel engines typically operate at the top end of their power range so their operating temperatures are usually higher than those in similar petrol engines so the parts in diesel engines are usually more stressed as a result diesel oils need a different range of properties and are classified differently it's common for some diesel engines to use an oil cooler to cool the oil in the engine the cooler and oil filter are usually on the same mounting on the cylinder block أساسيات فنية لمضخة تزييد وصمام الأمان Basic Information for Oil Bomb and Safety Valve Between the sump and the oil pump is a pickup tube with a flat cup and a strainer immersed in the oil. The strainer stops large particles of dirt and carbon entering the pump and damaging it. The pickup tube leads to the inlet of the oil pump on the low pressure side of the pump. Oil pumps may be driven from the camshaft or the crankshaft. In a rotor type oil pump, an inner rotor drives an outer one. As they turn, the volume between them increases. This larger volume lowers the pressure at the pump inlet. Outside atmospheric pressure is then higher. This forces oil into the pump and it fills the spaces between the rotor lobes. As the lobes of the inner rotor move into the spaces in the outer rotor, oil is squeezed out through the outlet. Similarly, in a geared oil pump, the driving gear meshes with a second gear. As both gears turn, their teeth separate, creating a low pressure area. Higher atmospheric pressure outside forces oil up into the inlet. The spaces between the teeth fill with oil. The gears rotate and carry oil around the chamber. The teeth mesh again and oil is forced from the outlet toward the oil filter. A normal pump is capable of delivering more oil than an engine needs. It's a safety measure to ensure the engine is never starved for oil. As the pump rotates and engine speed increases, the volume of oil delivered also increases. The fixed clearances between the moving parts of the engine prevent oil escaping back to the sump and pressure builds up in the system. An oil pressure relief valve stops excess pressure developing. It's like a controlled leak, releasing just enough oil back to the sump to regulate the pressure of the whole system. As a يوضح جهاز قياس ضغط زيت المحرك Tubrication Oil Compression Pressure Tester ويتكون هذا الجهاز من عداد ضغط الزيت ومجموعة من الوصلات معلومات فنية Measuring Oil Pump Pressure كيفية قياس ضغط سائل تزيد